Hey guys, this is my first time trying Southern Barbecue. Uh, this is a very famous spot in Raleigh. It's called uh, The Pit and it's in North Carolina. And the total cost for this meal, I got the uh, I, I got the barbecue and then it came with a choice of two sides. It was about $18. And I was surprised to see that they also did uh, added something extra. Uh, must be like fried batter or something, fried hush puppies. So I gotta try one of these. Hmm. It's literally like fried batter. It's just like a very thick bit of uh, fried batter. Now I gotta try one bite of this giant biscuit. I mean, they know how to do biscuits down south. Look how thick that is. Not bad, middle of the road. A little dry, but generally, like, it has that a little bit of that sour taste to it that I like. And, you know, just a solid biscuit. Now, let's try some of this uh, barbecue. Not bad, it's very dry. It's like, um, it's very chewy. Not bad. I feel like I'm supposed to put like sauce on it because it's like very, it's just like dry pulled pork in a way. There's the beans. The beans are on point. That's some barbecue beans right there. You got the sauce. You can taste it. It's a very sharp uh, type of taste to it with a little sweet aftertaste. And the beans are somewhat substantial, but with a little chew, they give away. And then last but not least, the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is solid. Some people like that mushy, like liquidy mac and cheese. I always assume that's like low quality mac and cheese. I like this like substantial stuff where you can actually see it. It has substantial taste to it. The cheese is substantial. It's firm, it's solid. It has a bite to it. It's not too hard to chew, but it has a bite. Now I'm gonna dip some of that uh, meat into the barbecue beans to see if that will add some taste. A little bit, but it's way too chewy and like plain tasting. So I like everything but the meat.